Ford, Honda, and John Deere are just a few of the global firms using technology developed by an Ottawa company to gain deeper insights into their manufacturing operations. For some 35 years from right here in the National Capital Region, Symmetric Instruments have been making quite a name for itself among automotive firms, their suppliers, and other manufacturers. The Canada company entered a new chapter in its corporate history with when it was acquired in late 2017. However, far from fading from view, Symmetric is entering new markets and working with some of the hottest companies on the planet. We'll be exploring Symmetric's new fields this week on Techopia Live. Welcome to Techopia Live. I'm your host this week, Peter Cavesi. Today, we're in the Canada headquarters of Symmetric Instruments, where we'll be talking about manufacturing 4.0 and how data analytics is reshaping the industry. Today, I'm joined by Symmetric Senior Vice President, Derek Kuhn, as well as Richard Goldstein, the Director of Construction at KRP Properties. KRP Properties is one of the sponsors of Techopia. Richard, can you start off just by telling us a little bit about KRP Properties? Sure. Uh, KRP Properties is, uh, I guess, the largest landlord in Canada North at this point in time. We have a varied amount of uh, and varied type of, of tenant uh, base here. People think that we're mainly high-tech base, and I guess we probably are. And uh, what we're trying to do is we try to accommodate all those different pieces in uh, our portfolio of, of building. Perfect. So we're going to come back to you because you have been uh, very, very active recently, including right here in this building. So we're eager to hear more about that. But before we get there, Derek, so I think a lot of us can paint a bit of a mental picture about what an automotive assembly line looks like. Help us understand where Symmetric fits into that picture. Yeah, I mean, we play a role in helping manufacturers really embody perfected manufacturing, right? Delivering both instrumentation and software that allows them to provide analysis at every one of the stations where you see something happening when something's being put together and making that decision that's good or that needs to be looked at in some other way. Um, when we you know, grab all that information, we can provide a completely digital environment with which to actually look at how the manufacturing is running and how to make improvements uh, over time. So I was, I was watching a, a, a presentation that, that you gave and you got quite excited about something that's called manufacturing 4.0. Yeah, well, I mean, for us, it's, it's interesting, right? Because We've embodied this trend uh, for more than 20 years, but Manufacturing 4.0 is essentially grabbing the data from each one of the processes and analyzing that data, making sure that you can reach your optimum efficiency, right? And Symmetrics embodied that vision now for a long, long time. The fact that it has this much hype with many of our customer base uh, here in Canada and, and everywhere else in the world uh, it helps us right now because a lot of what we do um, is is just that much more relevant, right? People are looking for a manufacturing Ford Auto solution and Symmetric has that uh, that product line to uh, to be able to help them. Is there an example that you could give that would like a really sort of concrete anecdote that would really sort of illustrate uh, how Symmetric adds value to uh, to its clients' uh, manufacturing process? Oh, I mean, yeah, for sure. There's so many. I mean, you know, one of the ones that resonated with uh, with uh, with folks when I told them was, uh, you know, we're able to look at uh, something that's been manufactured, and and then later on, essentially reprocess that entire manufacturing line and find things that you would not really have realized you needed to find until such time that you were looking for that. Um, the beauty of that is now you can do something that we call like a surgical recall. You know, instead of look, trying to find, you know, something in, in a huge amount of, of, uh, of groupings of products, you can say, I'm just going to grab Peter, because Peter has that product, and tell him, hey, I need to fix that, and never have to make a big deal about it. Okay. 
So Soundmetric, of course, has been growing. Uh, like a lot of companies in Canada and North, we're seeing uh, growth, growth here, and this is yeah. some, some brand new space. Uh, Richard, KRP Properties is a landlord to many growing, growing tech companies. Uh, the, the nature of the sector means that these firms are often expanding, hiring new people very, very rapidly. How does KRP Properties help its tenants uh, grow? It's really a matter of flexibility. The thing is that we have enough uh, area here of very different types of, of, of building. This one being an example of uh, an area that has kind of a high bay area and kind of an office area, lower bay, which was really perfect for Derek and his team's yeah. uh, facility. I, I guess the thing is this, that what we try and do is we try and listen to kind of exactly what Derek explained about what they do and try and match really the function to the area. The other thing, of course, is you know we talked about attracting uh, um, uh, personnel, attracting people to you know to to want to work for Derek and his team. Well, how do we do that? You know, and how does Derek do? That? And that's a huge thing for Absolutely. us, right? I mean, you want to find engineers, you want to find uh, technical folks that are, that want to be in the space every day, uh, and and having a modern. Uh, state-of-the-art space was so important to us during this process. So my sense is that, you know, if somebody can actually listen, and that's really what I think I've learned over the, the years, that listen to what the tenant or the client wants, try and match to what their needs are, rather than sticking that round peg in a square hole. And I think one of the biggest challenges for us was, we're not just a tech company that's doing hardware and software design, we're manufacturing here in Ottawa as well. So finding a hybrid space that it could accommodate first class technology development and manufacturing in one contiguous space, man, a really, really tough problem. But that's how we were able to, you know, figure it out. You know, it, uh Implied in all this conversation, of course, is is the company's growth. Can you tell us a little bit about what sort of growth you're seeing and uh, and, and the hiring that you're currently doing? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, first of all, I mean, m more and more uh, of our customers are looking for uh, you know deeper analytics into the data that we're already pulling uh, with our instrumentation products. Uh, to do so, we have to develop software that actually allows for that to happen. Um, so we're looking for you know that kind of talent, right? Uh, talent that luckily is in abundance uh, here in Ottawa, but uh, but but it's it's a it, it, it's a difficult market to be able to you know find folks. So so being able to find those those people as well as people that are familiar with mechanical engineering and manufacturing engineering all in one space, we had to bring that together. Uh, so. You know, the growth is predicated on more and more companies investing in the principles of what m manufacturing 4.0 means to them, right? Which, which is deeper analysis of their process and optimization, which is how we, uh, you know, are focused in our hiring here locally. The other topic I wanted to touch on was the uh, the acquisition. So I think it was in late 2017. Yeah. Uh, Symmetric was acquired by uh, by the Tassi Group. Yeah. How did that change things for the company? What new opportunities uh, has it, has it opened up for you? Yeah, I mean it's been great. You know, one of the beauties is that you know when you find a fit like this, um, it 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 has spawned more opportunity, right? Uh, the the organization that we work with now has a number of. Uh, sister companies that are in similar spaces and we're working hand in hand with those companies to try and leverage our expertise and their expertise on customers that we've never ever worked with before. I mean we're in the process right now of working with a you know one of the electric vehicle uh, manufacturers, one that everybody knows, um, through the fact that you know those sister companies had existing uh, relationships that you know they knew. Oh, Symmetric can do that. Uh, you know, at the same time, you know the the, the parent company owns uh, companies that are in various different spaces, whether they're in the pharmaceutical market or you know medical uh, manufacturing market. Um, so we're finding new opportunities outside of sort of our core business as well, which is really exciting. Unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, leave the conversation there. I really enjoyed chatting. Derek, Richard, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Absolutely, you. thank you. And a big thank you as well to our other sponsors. Number Crunch, offering virtualized CFO services for SaaS companies. Pearly Robertson, Hill & McDougall, a leader in business and tech law. TD Bank, which specializes programs for tech firms. 
University of Ottawa Engineering, creating the next generation of technical talent, Stratford Managers, providing services to help you scale your tech venture, and KRP Properties, offering so much more than just space. Techopia is not just this great show, we're also available online with daily news at obj.ca slash techopia. We're on Facebook and Twitter at techopia OTT. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to click the like button, leave us a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next week for the next episode of Techopia Live.